Hey there, what's going on? It's Lisa here, Raw Food for Kids. Thanks for tuning in. No, it's been a little little while since uh, I made a video. Uh, just 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 taking a break, actually. But uh, everything's going really well, and I hope you're uh, you're doing well as 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 well. That's a lot of wells. Anyways, um, I am going to make for you a. I actually am going to turn this into. I was going for, and you, I'll show you. You can leave it as a. Um, like a sun-dried tomato kind of pesto dip, you know, like you see, uh, I was in Trader Joe's yesterday, and they were giving out a dip, it was cream cheese with like a sun-dried tomato spread and pesto, which is an awesome combination. Of course, it's not vegan and it's not raw, so I thought I would kind of um, do my best to duplicate it and make it into almost like a spread using soaked nuts. So um, I'm going to give you the recipe and I'm going to show you what I did. I, I started a video and then it was just taking too long. I decided to do the food process and you just got to kind of baby it, stirring it and so the nuts get nice and creamy. But as I was tasting it, um, it really, really, really reminded me more of a um, quote unquote uh, vodka sauce. If you've ever had that, it's, it's almost like a creamy tomato sauce. They call it a vodka sauce. Um, and uh, so I'm actually going to turn it into that, and I'm going to pour it over some zucchini noodles for dinner tonight. And it's going to be killer. Anyways, this is this is the recipe. Um, you want to take one cup of sunflower seeds, and this is this is going to be perfect for the holidays um, as a dip to put out. And it is so so inexpensive using these sunflower seeds. Um, this had an extra cup, and it was two dollars at Trader Joe's for raw sunflower seeds. Probably the cheapest. Um, you know, nut seed that you can get. So anyways, I took a cup of sunflower seeds and I soaked them overnight in, in some water and, um, and then drained that off. So a cup of sunflower seeds. And then I did a half a cup of uh, sun-dried tomatoes that I soaked as well overnight. These are julienne, um, so about half a cup, if not probably about five or six um, full sun-dried tomatoes. And um, I soaked them in a half a cup of water. So a half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes and a half a cup of water. And um, a little salt and then probably about maybe, you know, you know, a bunch of basil. I felt that much basil. Something like that. Because what I did was I got it here right, right now because it was just taking too long in the food process. So I was stirring it and... It was like seven minutes in, and I'm like, oh my god, this is boring, because I don't, I don't know how to edit. Um, so anyways, this is what it comes out to. So I did a cup, I basically put the cup of uh, sunflower seeds, soaked sunflower seeds, a half a cup of the sunflower, I mean, sun-dried tomatoes with all the liquid, too. So just dump it all in, but drain your, your seeds. I put in, like, probably a teaspoon of salt. And um, a one clove of garlic and a good handful of fresh basil. And I just let the food processor go until it got real smooth. The nuts got, um, you know, nice and creamy. And, and if you taste this, it tastes like kind of like that cream cheese kind of dip with the sun-dried tomato and the pesto. It's delicious. So you can use this on its own. Like, so you, you see it's a nice creamy... Um, spread or dip that you could do like some raw zucchini chips and serve this. Um, a cool way to serve it is I like to line a bowl with some saran wrap and um, basically you put your dip in here and you'll end up, well I'll do something like that because I don't, well now I'm going to turn it into a sauce. Well I'm going to take half of it and I'll do it like this, and I'll do half as a sauce because I won't need that much sauce. So I'm taking half out, and you just okay, just smear it right in there. This makes for a pretty presentation, and um, you don't have to, but I like to do this. And since we use sunflower seeds, I was thinking um, you can kind of make like a sunflower out of it. So what you want to do is you fold this over, so now you have your your little dip in the bowl and just refrigerate this. Refrigerate it for a couple hours or overnight. You can make this a day ahead of time. It'll keep for a couple days in the fridge just fine. And once it's refrigerated, you'll just pull it out, mold it 
onto a, the platter that you want. And then I thought what would be really cool is since it's got sunflowers in it, if you had like some whole sun-dried tomatoes, you could kind of make that the petals around it and then put garnish it with a nice pretty sprig of uh, basil to act as like the uh, the leaves. So you can actually make like a, a beautiful sunflower um, on the platter if you're entertaining uh, with the holidays and stuff coming up. So, you know, you can do that with any dip, but I just thought that would be kind of pretty since it's got sun-dried tomatoes and it's a sun sunflower seed dip. So, uh, so that's really, really cool. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll probably do that after this kind of sets up a little bit. So that's, that's one thing you can do with it. Okay. So you got a nice sun, sun-dried tomato pesto dip or spray, whatever you want to call it. Now I want to make a, um, a sauce out of it for, uh, for over zucchini noodles. This is going to be killer. So I basically, with that recipe, if you want to make the sauce or if you want to make the dip, you can half it or, you know, I took half out for the spread and now I'm going to take the other half for my sauce. So I'm going to add water to this to dilute it to a sauce consistency, basically. So right in the blender, I mean right in the food processor, or better would be to do it in the blender. Probably save some time. I'm gonna take a half a cup of water. We'll just run. All right, this is just. Once you make this dip, it's it's really no real recipe. I'm just adding water to dilute it to a sauce consistency. But I like the sauces. If you've ever had like an alavaca sauce, um, a creamy sauce kind of on the thicker side. You don't want a watery sauce because you're putting it on um, zucchini noodles. You can even put this on regular pasta noodles, you know, if you're in the transition phase. Just make your sauce and put it over that, but it's great over some zucchini noodles. And um, I like to keep it, like I said, a little thicker because then it really coats the noodles nicely. Add a half a cup of water here. Just kind of going little by little. this down. I'm going to show you this beautiful, what I'm calling, olive vodka. It doesn't have vodka in it, but if you've had a, a, that kind of sauce, it really, really resembles it in flavor, in an appearance. So this is cool. This is stuff I, I love. It's when you find something that really reminds you of something else and you can't really tell much difference. So can you see that, guys? Ooh, it's going to pour out. So check that out. That's your your sauce for over some zucchini noodles. Full of flavor. Just soak sunflower seeds, um, which are just so inexpensive. And they soak quickly, too, because sunflower seeds are so small. So it's great if you need to do it in a, a pinch. Normally you would use, like, little um, uh, pine nuts. Those are expensive. So here we go, sun-dried tomatoes, a little garlic, one clove of garlic I use, some fresh basil, and, um, and a good pinch of salt because, you know, you want to have a little flavor. And, um, and that's it. Look at that. That is a beautiful creamy sauce um, for over a, uh, over a pasta dish. Look at that. Really tasty. That's really, really good. I'm going to have that for dinner tonight. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Remember to always eat happy food. So you got two options here. Two for one. You can use it as a dip, make some raw zucchini chips. Or you can add a little water and dilute it and make a, um, make a creamy sauce for zucchini noodles. That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, or serve it as a dip for friends and then uh, get any leftovers turned into a sauce. Anyways, remember to always eat happy foods, drink happy foods. I had a nice smoothie this morning, and um, I will talk to you real soon. Please, please subscribe to these videos if you haven't, and um, I look forward to, uh, to making another video uh, for you real soon.
Thanks for watching. Take care.